Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter who holds a mixed martial arts record of 13 wins with two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, the Pitbull, Tiago Alves. And now introducing his opponent standing in the red corner. This man is a Militich Fighting Systems fighter. He holds a mixed martial arts record of 15 wins with one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Benton, Dorf, Iowa, the King, Petzer When the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. The King is uh, an intense looking dude, man. He's ready to go. So is Tiago Alves in the red trunks. Spencer Fisher in the camouflage trunks set at 170 pounds to get her underway. Alves. Ready to fight. Against ready? Fisher. Come on, let's do it. And here we go. Spencer Fisher's known for his hands. Supposedly he's an excellent boxer, but Tiago Alves. Also an excellent striker with American top team now. Start off with shoot box. Nice right hand, left hook combination by Spencer Fisher. Quick. Spencer Fisher, the southpaw, loves the right hook though too. Oh, there it is. Spencer it Fisher blessed. is an animal. Absolutely. Reminiscent of a, a Robbie Lawler or a Jens Pulver out of the Militich camp. Good takedown by Spencer. And the one thing about the Militich camp, as you well know, Joe, when they throw in practice, they throw. They do not hesitate at all in their striking training. Yeah, I mean, they get you prepared for the fire. They That's beat each other up. a fantastic team. Yeah, they beat each other up. Alves going for a leg bar. Oh, looks like he's got it. Trying to finish it early. Alves on but the But you American know what? Top Spencer team. looks like he's got a hold of his ankle. He's got an ankle lock on Tiago. He rolled it over, and he's got a straight ankle lock on Tiago, and it looks very deep. Tiago looks like he's in pain. He's trying to push him off it, but it's pretty solid. They're not that sweaty right now, and it's pretty tight. He's free. Oh, my. What a great job done by Tiago Alves. Now let's see who's got the better ground game. Spencer is now on his back. Alves is a youngster, too. He's 21 years old. Full Muay Thai. You know what? All in all, it worked out for Alves. He went for the leg lock. Spencer countered. He got out of it. Got him on his back. Check that, partner. Happy birthday to Tiago Alves, who is 22 years old today. Fighting on his birthday. And an ankle lock was almost his birthday present. That would be bad. 22-year-old Tiago Alves against Spencer Fisher. The action slowed down considerably now that it hit the ground. Now the ground would be where the advantage would lie, one would think, with Alves with more Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu experience. Well, you know what? They're both with excellent camps. Yes. And Tiago you know ground skills are evident. Oh, look at this. He's got side control. Ground skills are evident in Benendorf, Iowa, every day. Side control for Alves. He says, slow and drastic. Yeah, Fisher is uh, kind of relaxed here and not really doing much to get out of this. Pace slowing drastically, and we will see who can control. If nothing happens here, Herb Dean will step him right back up to the feet. All right, he rolls over to a better position now. He's in guard. Oh, Try to tee away some bombs. from inside the guard. Hasn't connected yet. Good body control by Spencer Fisher. It's one thing, it is very difficult to ground and pound a good striker. You know, they know how to stay relaxed and avoid punches. You can see this with Spencer. He's not doing what a lot of guys do, which is lie on his back with his head down. When when he sees Tiago punching, he's actually leaning up so he can give himself more room for movement to avoid the punches. You see how he does that? When Tiago leans up and goes to strike, Spencer comes up with him. It gives him a little bit more leeway. Spencer going up for a triangle. Tiago gets out of it. Tiago trying to rain down a haymaker. He's rolling into an armbar. Can he get it he's here? Got it. He's got it. It's very possible here. He's got the arm hooked. He let it go. Close guard now. And again, avoidance the key to Spencer Fisher right now. Spencer Fisher showing some really good defense on the ground. Weather a storm here. Hey. 
Under 90 seconds remains in round one. This fight in the middleweight division, 175, some 170 pounds and less. Three five-minute rounds. Really good job by Spencer in the bottom. Goes for Noma Plata, shoulder lock. He's got to get a hold of his leg. He's got to get a hold of Tiago's leg and roll it down. He's got to pin his legs down now. Tiago's out. And now Tiago's got his back. He and rolls out of that. So both men very Fisher back to his feet. Round one. And down goes Spencer Fisher. Good job done by Tiago Alves. Yeah, it's clear here that Tiago has the advantage on the ground. Spencer looked like he had the advantage standing up. Tiago went for that knee bar, which ultimately got him into a much better position. And he looks like he's much more in control of the ground game. Which is too bad because he was doing so well standing up. I'd like to see this get back to its feet again. That was pretty exciting. Remember, the action has to be pushed on the ground, John. Oh, there's a good knee. Oh, but that's illegal. Yeah. You cannot right into the head when a guy is down. Very good call by Herb Dean. Herb Dean is an excellent referee. Yeah. Oh, he's on top of things. He's also a mixed martial arts fighter himself, which is one of the reasons why he's so good. And they subtract a point. Herb Dean has subtracted a point here in the first round. And the first round good is first over. first round for Tiago Alves. A, a split second later, he would have been on his feet, hey, and that would have been a good knee. No yes. But it was so close, boom. Don't take him down this round. You had him hurt. Hey, you don't go for an ankle again. You see what just happened right there? You hear Matt Hughes yelling at him, you don't go for an ankle again. Don't, don't apologize. Let's just not do it again. Very tough corner. Let's take a look at the replay. Tough luck in the Militage camp. That's why they're so hard. Here's Spencer Fisher's got the body lock, goes for the trip, the takedown. Now here's the ankle. He's got a hold of the ankle, trying to submit Tiago Alves. Tiago uses that as an opportunity to reverse him and wind up on top where he remained for the rest of the round. Tactical error by Spencer Fisher. And that's what it's all about. So let's see how Tiago recovers from losing that point because you could see the look of dejection in his face that he might have lost the round because of that errant knee. You, you could see just his eyes just kind of go, man, like I worked so hard and it, it might be a non-winning round for me because of that. Let's see how he recovers here. Yeah, that's a very good point. Because Spencer Fisher seems to have new confidence now. Whoa! Swing and a miss. <laughs> So much on the same page oh, tonight. Yeah, nice inside leg kick and a nice counter by Tiago. Well, high kick again. Close nice knee, knee by Spencer. And again, he just automatically is going for that takedown, which I think is a mistake. I think Tiago has an advantage on the ground. I think Spencer should just avoid that and stay on his feet. Nice leg kick by Tiago. Spencer's the smaller guy. I mean, Spencer could fight at 155. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be a little tougher cut. Yeah, Spencer, though, is the one who fights more like a pit bull. Good point. However, his nickname is the King. Uh, we'll see if he'll be crowned at least the victor in this one. Oh, you can help yourself. Now. Tiago yeah. Alves with the takedown. Spencer's trying to avoid him passing. And he's moved it to half guard. Oh, this is here Spencer talking about saying, come on, boys. Oh, trash talk. You know what, Tiago's English is so bad, he might not even know what he's saying. <laughs> oh, boy, let's go. I like that. We got to learn how to trash talk in Portuguese. Speaking of Portuguese. 340 remains in round two. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, our crew here at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. The joint is rocking tonight. Good nice job body done by, yeah, Good job done by Diego Alves to mix those up, Joe. Yeah, he saw that he was covering up really well, so he said, all right, dude, you want to keep your arms up right there? Boom. Soften your ribs up a little bit. That's a sign of experience right there. That's what 15 mixed martial arts fights to do for it. Absolutely. Nice elbows inside by Tiago. Both men with similar experience, Joe. One with 15 mixed martial arts contests coming in, the other with 16. And combined, they've only been defeated three total times. 
was impressive, and you know, on short notice, with this Monday fight added to the UFC resume, so our matchmakers found some of the youngsters who were chomping at the bit for an opportunity, and all of a sudden their opportunity came to them, they were ready to go. Yeah, and these guys, I mean, are clearly UFC level competition. I mean, they're, they're excellent fighters. There's so many of them out there. I mean, it's such a velocity sport right now. There's so many of these great guys, and Joe Silva does a great job of finding these guys and bringing them to the UFC and matching them up in a fantastic manner. I mean, this is a very exciting fight. And the beautiful thing is, is that where Joe can start and where the UFC starts all the time is by going to the camps that have been successful. American Top Team, Militage, and on down the list. Exactly. And to see these two match up like this, I mean, anytime you match up a, a, a Militage fighter with an American Top Team fighter, you know you're going to get a brawl. Absolutely. So far, so good. Two minutes, ten seconds remains in round number two. Spencer Fisher back to the feet with a nice knee and a nice elbow. All right, Fisher back up. Let's see if he can swing for the fences and connect this time. Good left hand. Yep. Missed with that one, though. Straight left, trying to soften up Tiago Alves. But then he clinches. You keep hearing his, his, his corner scream out, get out of the clinch. You hear Tony Franklin over here to our left screaming, get out of the clinch. Militich well represented at the joint tonight. Yeah, they don't want him clinching with this guy. They think he's a better striker, as I do. But you know what? Sometimes when you're in a fight, you just you have certain patterns that you follow. You punch, and you just naturally get a hold of a guy and take him down. I think in this situation, he has shown an advantage in stand-up, and he's shown to be at a disadvantage on the ground. He'd be much better off if he avoided this clinch. See, he's trying to take him down again. It's just he just can't help himself. Was almost like he was frustrated there. Yeah, well, it's by the clinch, frustrated, and he let himself be taken down. I mean, this is what we just predicted. Here he is in this situation, and he didn't have to go there. I mean, it wasn't an overwhelming takedown by Tiago. He just took advantage of uh, a scramble. Tiago trying to affect the breathing of Spencer Fisher by throwing that forearm right inside his neck area, trying to just break the pattern of breathing, hit that fatigue button a little bit tougher. Spencer Fisher is probably going to lose this round. Now, the first round probably would have went to Tiago, yep. but then you got to take that point away. Absolutely. And Tiago's winning this round. But it's we could theoretically, Joe, have a 9-9 a, a nine -nine because oh, of the last point. Oh, look at this. Point. Triangle. And then this round going to Tiago. Tiago's got a left hand. Spencer Fisher with a beautiful triangle. He's got a left hand. He's tapped. He said he tapped. Spencer Fisher. How quickly the submission comes into play in mixed martial arts. Seems like he's being dominated even though he's got the guard and boom, the legs come up. A spin, dominant position. Now he said he attempted. it. He said he tapped. So he just said, all right, we'll make sure, and there he taps. He made sure, he left it in there, and then boom, applied the pressure on the second occasion. Thought he had the tap here. Motion to the referee, Herb Dean. Said, all right, I still have it. And the right hand, there's the tap. There's the official tap, and Spencer Fisher is victorious. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of the second round. For the winner by tap out, due to a triangle, the king, Spencer. The King is crowned here tonight in his debut. He's now 16 and one. Joe. All right, I'm here with Spencer Fisher. Spencer, congratulations. I mean, we were saying in the commentary, it looked like you had the advantage standing up and you were at a disadvantage on the ground. And out of nowhere, you pulled that triangle off. Uh, thanks to Militage Martial Arts. And I also have to say thank you to Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. All right, now, Spencer, you, you, you're fighting at 170 pounds. Is that your natural weight class? Well, I'm a fat guy, so 175 and above is, but 155 is where I belong. All right, congratulations on an excellent performance, and we look forward to seeing you here in the UFC again. Thank you very much. Spencer Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. Right here.